Well, today, let's tackle that corner. We got the, uh, got the wash basin moved out of there. And, uh, yeah, it's time to do some cleanup over here. Let's see what all we can get done. Well, hey, I can see that corner again. It's been a while since I've been able to see that. Oh, wow. That is work. That's the pile of leaves that I got out of there. Uh, I may have to put a different seal on the bottom of that garage door before winter time. One of the problems I have is I got these cracks that go through here. And even with a new seal, I'm not sure that I would get that one taken care of. Right. Right there. There's a little over an inch of difference there. And that could be tough. Well, we're making progress. Now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with that compressor head. That may go out to an outside shop at some place. I do not have a place for that. Um, I bought that thinking it was, it was the right size flywheel for that one. It's not. It's a far bigger compressor head. Um, in all that, you try, you work, you do what you can do. Boy, look what I found over here. I found a whole other shelf of car care stuff. Isn't that neat? Wow. And then there's some, looks like copper wire down at the bottom of that. We'll work on that. But yeah, one more step in the right direction. Yeah, let's see if we can get some of this mess cleaned up. That was quite the deal. Those leaves I'm going to put out in the driveway, they're dry enough that they will crush right on down. And then that way, you saw me pick up a couple sockets and stuff like that as I was sweeping out that area. That should let me get that. If there is any, it should let me pick them up and get them put back away at some point. Here we go. Well, that looks a little different. I even swung around over here, got a little bit of this. Oh, actually we're in pretty good shape. Get that air compressor moved and get that mess straightened out. I think I can actually begin to see the potential of working in here again. But we're still a ways off. We'll get there. Ah, show you my finger. All right, cool. Oh, we'll get there. Okay, let's see if we can get that shelf cleaned out enough to figure out something to do with it. I'm gonna get a, get a stool to sit on. I think I'm going to get a crate to put some of that stuff into, especially the car cleaning stuff. Yeah, I still got crates to go. Look around quickly 
ready for a pair of gloves that I'm not seeing. Yeah, well. I've washed my hands before. I suppose I can do it again. I'm not even going to try to sort this at this point. I'm just going to move it. Try and figure out if I want to leave that shelf there or if I want to move that down further in the process. I think I am going to leave it there, though. Figure out something to put on it. It's amazing all the goodies I'm finding. Tire less shine. I think that's more shine, less time. Electric motor and parts cleaner. That feels like a fairly full can, but the sprayer's knocked off of it. Huh, here's another one just like it. I may have bought those that way, come think of it. I think I remember picking those up for like nothing. I was off of somebody's clearance rack, and I figured I would probably be able to... Uh, Break free. CLP break free. Somebody told me that was good stuff. I think it was when I was playing with the BMW. Full can of carbon choke cleaner. Oh, a can of 3M super adhesive. More weight tire cleaner. Vinyl top and a coal upholstery cleaner. Turtle wax color back. That's good stuff, especially if you're trying to bring back shine to aluminum. That works pretty good for, for that particular process. Old school turtle wax bug remover. Yep. Ha <laughs> ha! Citrus. Cleaner and degreaser. Brake clean. Yeah, cool. Armor all. Probably should just throw that away. I don't like using armor all to begin with. Vinyl preserver. Oh, I think I need that at some point. We'll see what. At some point, we'll figure that out. More armor all. More caulk. Put that over in the caulk box here in a minute. Yeah, and I'll take a wheel bearing grease. Uh, yeah, that area is not cleaned out really. Okay. So, got stuff off of that shelf. Just for fun of oh, looky there. That fits right underneath there. Sticks out too far to leave. Okay. Huh. That's interesting. The problem with that solution is it's going to be very much out of sight, out of mind. These I picked up off the floor. And uh, they need a little bit of work, but those could be cleaned up and put away. Ooh, that one actually says Mac on it. That's the reason why I put the stuff out in the in the driveway with some of the crush up and if any metal happens to pop through I'll be able to reclaim it and, and uh, go this is a portion of that flywheel it's cast iron it's for the flywheel off the air compressor and uh, yeah works real good let's see what I can do with my torch striker I think I can put it right back where I had it. Yep. Put these away. I, uh, for some reason I'm thinking I needed eight screws for those uh, brackets that I put the hose on to. But I only needed four, so I had an extra even though I dropped one and I have not found the one I dropped yet. So. Yeah, we'll figure it out. It'll probably end up in a tire. 
here sometime. Let's hope not. Let's hope that. Let's see here. Let me get my whisk brew. Ow. That may not be a good place to hit me, huh? I'm just going to do that kind of stuff. I'm a little lawn grabber. I thought I had a hunt out. I bumped it and it fell right down. So that may not be a good, good solution at all. Oh. Isn't this fun? I bet you wish you could watch me do this, don't you? It's got to be highly enlightening to your day. Brush that off. Set that there, can I forget where I put it? I probably will. We don't have any spiders around here. None at all. Okay. Squarely against the wall. Let's get rid of that mud dabbers cave. What fun, huh? That's what happens when you don't clean up for years. Things, things, nature begins to take over. You know, we're gonna disrupt nature here a little bit. We hope. If we can get it disrupted or it disrupts us. Nothing worse than crawling underneath the car and having nature crawl over you. My brother told the story of doing some plumbing underneath his house one day. Down in a crawl space where you're laying on your back and you can't really move and things aren't really all that comfortable. He's into there working on stuff and the next thing he knows something plops on his stomach and being the old farm boy that he was his first thought was that's heavy enough to be a rat and so he reached down and moved the thing only to find out it was a kitten he felt kind of bad about the whole thing but if I remember that story correctly, he said the cat never had the inclination to jump up on him that way again. Okay. That's the problem with getting old. You hear all these stories that you think are worth sharing someplace, right? And the people that you know, get to hear the stories whether they want to or not. Okay, as I say, someplace here I had a waste paper basket. Let's see if we can find that again. I actually got the uh, bird barrel burnt down again the other day. The wind died down enough to do that. And so here we go. Let's see here. Let's start with this many. Yay. Some good looking stuff, isn't it? Okay. Go back again. Little by little, you just keep with it, and eventually you get a fairly clean surface to deal with. 
There's no guarantees in regard to that, but hey, you know, you gotta start someplace. Much better. We're getting there. This little shelving unit is probably one that I picked up at a farm auction sale one day, a pile of junk that I bought. You know how it is. They'll hold something up, it won't sell it, so they'll throw it in with some other stuff. And eventually it gets into a pile that you'd like to have something else out of that pile, and so you buy the pile and you bring the pile of junk home. That cleans up their yard. Doesn't do much for your side of things, but hey, you know, it works for them. And that's what they're doing, is they're trying to usually settle on a state and try to get rid of the stuff out of their things. Yeah. We're getting there. At some point, I'm going to refill that particular bottle because the sprayer works. I'm going to refill it with... Oh, hey, that's a freestanding bench. That may be good information at some point. That is a freestanding bench. That one's not nailed to the wall. Well, I like to get this mess off of there. I would, I would. I like that. The wood shelf and the top shelf is actually looking pretty good here. This shelf here that started out looking good, but the longer I go, the more kind of greasy, oily, yucky stuff I'm finding. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that kind of folds up that way. That's not soap foam. That's detergent interacting with oil and foaming. So the guess is to where the oil came from. We know where the detergent came from. That's the detergent being applied there. As you go up here, you see more tools that need to be sorted out, put away, that kind of stuff. Well, I got news for you. We may have just done our white blast wipe down on that. Call that quits. Okay, where will this fit? This is another deal where somebody had a box of stuff and wasn't getting a bid. I needed some electrical wire and brought home a whole lot more than what I needed for the project at hand. But here's the problem. At this point, I had forgotten that this wire was even over here. So, I don't know, can I double stack it in there? Oh, looky there. Almost. least there it's going to be up far enough that it's not going to be quite so out of sight out of mind-ish. Oh I made that work. That surprises me. I like it. Well 
I got two more spools down here. Uh-oh. That works real well except for one little thing. You know, I don't think I'm going to worry about that. I was aiming to put these wooden shelves back up on there. I think I'm not going to worry about it. But I got some more leaves to clean out here, don't I? The deal with the leaves is I got... A sycamore tree with the big broad nasty big leaves you see here those these leaves oh, I'm trying to think what the name of that tree is it's a, it's a tree I'd never heard of before I moved here Not coming to mind at the moment. But anyway, they drop leaves. And being up here on top of the hill the way I am, I get wind from every direction. And I think I get people's leaves from every direction. I end up with stuff like this. And it's just a fun time being had by all. Well, that looks a whole lot better than what it did. A lot of work for, not a lot of reward, but hey, at least I can see what's in there again. That'll help. Well, now, if we look at this from this direction, we're getting closer. But I think that's all we're gonna put on this video. We got that corner cleaned out. That was, oh, and I knew it was going to be time consuming. I knew it was going to be worth the effort once I get done. But to be truthful with you here now, once I get a few of these things maneuvered around and a few things up this direction put away, I should be able to get a car in here pretty easily. Pretty, pretty, pretty easily. Liking it. Well, again. Thanks for putting up with me. Thanks for being patient. This is our next tackling, I think. We got lots of stuff to do here. Actually, the biggest deal is going to be figuring out what to do with all these hoses. We'll figure it out. We'll get something arranged. And yeah, we'll go from there. I'm not quite sure what at all that's going to be. But let's give it a good shot. Thanks for watching. Come back tomorrow.